My ex-wife dropped back into my life after six years. My ex and I met in college and were passionately in love for four years. After graduating in 2010, I married. I discovered her in a year-long romance with a colleague in 2013. I was devastated. She said they loved one another, were soulmates, didn't intend to harm anybody and so on. Only three months later we divorced. I was devastated. Worst period of my life. I was in mourning for nearly a year. They got married, according to what I've heard. I grew tired of being sad one day, so I let go of her totally in my heart, got off my buttocks, and actually went on. I'm a programmer by trade, and I opted to work as a pre-sales solutions consultant for one of the world's largest software businesses. The job has been amazing. I've gone all around the globe, every continent as well as all of the main cities. Life has been an incredible trip. I never dated seriously or were married. I'm not against casual dating and have dated gorgeous ladies from all around the world. After my marital experience, I determined that wasn't my route and have been content ever since. Sometimes lonely, particularly around the holidays, but mostly content. I'd had enough of traveling for a time, so I moved positions and am now stationed in a big city in the United States. On a Saturday morning, I'm sitting at a restaurant having breakfast and reading the news, Facebook, Reddit, and so on. When someone asks, my name, oh my goodness. The voice sounded like one of my female co-workers, so I glanced up to say hello, and my mouth fell. It's my ex-wife calling. I'm almost 2,000 miles away from our former hometown, haven't seen her in nearly six years, yet she's still there. I was taken aback. All I could say was hello. I hate to admit it, but she was stunning. She complimented me on my appearance. She inquired if I was busy and said that she didn't want to disturb me but would want to speak with me. Sure, I replied. We ended up conversing for more than two hours and continued for a couple more hours when we went for a stroll in a nearby park. We were making small conversation about common friends and my trip adventures from over the world, except for the elephant in the room. She eventually asks whether I were married at any time. No, I answered, once was enough. That appeared to make her unhappy. We walked for almost a minute in silence before she began. I have to express that I'm really sorry for what I did to you. You didn't earn it. It was terrifying and has been with me ever since. There was nothing wrong with you. I stated you married someone else after falling in love with them. That was something I couldn't stop you from doing. I wanted you to be content. Then I said, are you content? Ha. Huh. She said, one of those joking chuckles. Her informed me that the OM and she argued all the time and that he ended up cheating on her and left her two years into their marriage. I apologize for what had occurred to you. I understand how much that may hurt. She said that she was aware. When her heart was crushed, all she could think about was how she had done the same thing to me, which pained her. She claims she was depressed for about a year, participated in self-destructive conduct, and then went to counseling to find out why she was so messed up. She claimed that was incredibly beneficial, and she eventually grew up a few years ago and now takes her self-responsibility for her own behavior. She ended up coming to this city because she had a favorite aunt who lives there, and following her second divorce before the age of 30, she wanted to make major changes in her life. The modifications were evident. She is unquestionably more mature. We said our goodbyes since I needed to get ready for an evening with friends. We exchanged contact information and decided to meet for coffee and discuss more. That's what we've been doing. We're both unattached. I suppose there's no harm in trying. She clearly wants more from me. She wants me to want her again. She drops clues the size of the Pacific Ocean. I'm not I have to confess that she still has that something special that makes my heart skip a beat. Something I can't put into words. Something I hadn't discovered in anybody else since she. I suppose it's just chemistry between us. To be honest, I'd want to be more than just buddies. I want to hug and kiss her. She wants it as well, but I've made no steps as of yet. What's holding me back? Fear. I'm terrified I'll get injured again. If she had been a casual girlfriend who had dumped me, I would have shrugged it off and gone on. She wasn't, though. She was my wife and my life's love. I used to fantasize about her reappearing in my life. So here it is, and I'm terrified. I'm not sure I'll be able to offer her that much of myself again. I'm much more guarded of my heart these days. We both matured a lot, and the past feels a century ago. I'd be head over heels in love with her if she wasn't who she is, I'm torn between pursuing love with her again and letting the past go. It may seem corny, but it had to be her. It had to be her out of everyone I might have met here. 
update, I've had several requests for an update. I had one but was scared to submit it, since I get a lot of flack on this sub. We were married over the holidays and are now expecting our first child. She has matured significantly as a person. I've done the same. We're no longer children. We're in an adult relationship now, and it's a lot better than it was before. Add in the chemistry we've always had, and it's fantastic. I couldn't be more thrilled. I do want to address the allegations that she pursued me. She didn't do it. She had relocated to our present location before I had. She had really moved on, had gone to treatment, and had matured tremendously as a person. I happened to be at that restaurant at the time. We believe it was destiny or some other intervening factor. We're neither religious but the astronomical chances of us meeting into one other, both single, in a city neither of us had ever lived in, are difficult to dismiss. The cosmos clearly had a plan for us. I wish you all the best. My only piece of advice is to not shut your heart. You never know who will enter your life. Story 2 Wife cheated twice, but can only remember once. A year ago, I, 36 male, married the love of my life, 33 female. We've been together for almost 10 years and have lately decided to start having children. However, after some trial and error, we decided to postpone until after New Year's, December celebrations. This is exactly what happened to me. We both leave early and reach home at the same moment, by coincidence. We decide to go on a trek before supper since it's pleasant and early in the day. But a shower would be good first. She had a shower first, and when I got out of the shower, she was still nude in bed. We had passionate and enjoyable and didn't even make the run because of pillet. Conversation. We'd eat supper and then snuggle on the sofa with a blanket close to one other. She is a huge lover of various TV series that I dislike, so I'm sitting with a laptop and Netflix open at the same time. She is texting her buddies while watching TV. We're always like this, but after a nice afternoon, we're sitting particularly close to one other. She is unaware, however, that now that my episode is over, I can readily view her smartphone screen and see what she is typing. I saw my name in her messages, as well as the phrase, she is feeling so bad. I can't recall the first time, she says, but the second time was my fault. I received some information, but I'm not sure what's going on, but something isn't correct. At the same moment as she locks her phone, I shut my laptop. She freezes like a deer caught in headlights. I ask her if she has anything to say to me no way. What if anything happened? If she realized I was listening in on her phone, call because exclamation we are seated next. To one other. No. Could you at least make up a lie? No. 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 I stood up and exited the room. Normally, she would object to it in an argument, but she didn't even move. She hasn't phoned or texted me after a 15-minute stroll and three cigarettes, so I know the SH asterisk T is genuine. This is very out of character for her. As I go back home, she greets me with a grin. I go back to the kitchen, get another bottle of whiskey from the red bottle she was drinking in return. She raises her wine glass, and I pour a good, excellent glass of wine, followed by a good, good drink of whiskey. The glimmer of hope in her eyes fades as she realizes I actually do know. She narrated the whole tale. The first occasion was when we had a party at our house, and I had to leave due to a family emergency and stay overnight. There was a new odd buddy who remained late, even after everyone else had gone home. She was hammered and said she couldn't remember anything other than what happened. The second time was the following Tuesday night. She claimed she was perplexed by what had occurred and wanted to see him at his home. She lied to me about meeting another girlfriend that night and then left, and then it seemed it happened again, and she was to blame since it was her choice to go there, which I'm not sure I understand. She then broke it off, and she is feeling terribly bad, doesn't want me to go, and is really sad, etc. The conversation proceeded after that, but that was the essence of it. We spent the night apart, and I requested her to find another place to stay while I thought, which she did this morning as I write this. I apologize for the wall of words for anybody who is still reading this. This is probably just some therapeutic writing for me. You may do anything you want with it. I just needed to get it off my chest. I'm going to take my time deciding what to do and then see where it goes from there.